It's the day after Halloween. Wash the zombie makeup off your face, get up, and throw away all of that sugary candy. The average American eats 130 pounds of sugar every single year. Sugar accounts for about 70% of all chronic diseases. And yet 75% of all nourishment in the US comes from emotional eating. So there's this huge connection between the two. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a pumpkin pie smoothie recipe that's absolutely nourishing. It has the minerals, the fat, the different things that are gonna build you up so that you're not craving as much. And then I'm also gonna give you some mindset techniques that I've used in my own life and I've used on my clients to help them break away from the root cause of this emotional dependency on the food that's not good for you. Let's get on with the show today. Every single one of those cravings that you're having is linked physically to something in your body that you're missing, right? So let's talk about sugar first. A sugar craving is from not getting enough magnesium and zinc. So a perfect thing to do for that is to eat more foods that are loaded with magnesium, like the spinach that we have in the smoothie, and also the zinc and other minerals that are in these sunflower seeds. So if you're craving salt, which actually was one of my biggest things that I was craving when I was starting Fit Life TV, it was actually from my adrenals being weakened. So you wanna test your adrenals, right? We've done a video on testing your adrenals, two things that you can do at home to really check that out. So one thing that I do when I'm cooking, when I'm eating, and before I go to bed, is I make sure I'm putting Celtic sea salt in my food, and I also take some before I sleep, which is a pretty cool hack. If you take Celtic sea salt before you go to bed, like a, just a pinch of this stuff, I have it sitting right here, it um, will actually help you not wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Are you the type of person that wakes up in the middle of the night two, three times to go to the bathroom? It could be because your minerals are off. So try this, let me know what you think. So if you're craving fried foods or you're craving fat, when you're eating all that fat, it forces your liver to produce more bile because that's how your liver breaks it down. When it gets to the point to where your liver can't produce as much bile to break it down and digest it, then it's causing pressure on that. And it's important to have our liver at 100% capacity and functioning at all time because that's the thing that purifies your blood. It's the size of a football and all your blood passes through it. So you wanna make sure that you have strong, alkalized, like fully capable blood to process anything that it needs to work through. On a deeper level, I think a sugar craving is you're craving sweetness out of life. You want to get all that life has to give you, uh, but you're sacrificing it for a temporary experience. And uh, in that temporary experience, you, see, you search for cupcakes, cookies, chocolates, different things of that nature. And if I was to timeline out 10 years from now, from this point of eating these sugary treats every single day, where does that put me? Where does it put my body physically? Where does it put my mind? Where does it put the inflammation in my joints? You know, a lot of people complain about growing old and aging. Well, it's because of the food that they ate leading up to that. Because I've seen 98, 99 year old uh, yogi women that have been eating clean for the past 40, 50 years of their life and they're able to do things that 30 year olds can do. So it's all about your experience and what you want. Once you timeline that out and you figure out that to stop sacrificing the moment for your future, I think that's gonna give you more personal power. So a craving in salt, and I used to have this all the time, I would crave really, really salty things. Could be adrenal exhaustion, and that is tied directly to cortisol, right? If you're stressed out all the time, your adrenals are gonna be fatigued. So how do you alleviate stress mentally? It's not, it's being okay and having faith with where you are. Where you are is where you are, right? And for the longest time, I was like, I wanted to be somebody else. I wanted to be 10 years ahead into the future of where I was, and I was unhappy. I was chasing my ideal self. So if you're constantly chasing your ideal self, it leaves discord in the present moment. And that's when you crave salt and sugar and these different things. So how do you eliminate that discord in the present moment? Is to basically realize that you've been chasing this ideal version of yourself the whole time. And all you have to do, my friend, is simply turn around and be present with where you are currently right now. And be okay with it. Celebrate those small victories. Have the gratitude because gratitude will pull you back to the present moment. And I guarantee you those salt cravings will start to go away. So if you're craving fat on the mindset portion of it, I wanna encourage you to be more authentic in your life. 
to recognize the incongruencies that you've been living. Maybe you've been telling yourself some lies over the past few years. Maybe you're working at a job that you don't really like and you want to do something different but you're afraid to take the step. So by eating all that fat, it slows your digestion down, it impacts your liver and you're not able to be all that you can be. You see, when we started this movement at FitLife TV three years ago, I was in a similar situation. I didn't want to be all that I could be. I was afraid of being the light and uh, standing up for my own greatness. And if you're afraid to do that, I want to encourage you today to break free from that, to be more authentic, to be more in integrity, to have more of an alignment with your higher self. And when you can make that connection, those cravings of the salt, the sugar, and the fat will start to fade away unto their native nothingness. Let's go back to the kitchen and have a smoothie. So what's in this smoothie recipe that's unlike any smoothie you've probably ever made? The star player here, loaded with vitamin A and E, is a little pumpkin puree. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of this. We have avocado, which is loaded with omega-3s. We're gonna use a quarter of an avocado. Teaspoon of flax seeds, right? That's gonna help with digestion, scraping that stuff out of your gut. Uh, half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. And we have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Even the smell of cinnamon increases your cognitive function by 15%. Sunflower seeds. We have a half a banana. We have a half of a pear. Pear is absolutely amazing for the liver. A handful of spinach. Six pitted dates right here. This is the protein that we're coming up with in Organifi. It's not out yet, but I want to use this in this smoothie recipe because it's absolutely loaded with amazing ingredients. So we have a half a cup of almond milk. Those are the ingredients for the smoothie recipe. Let's get on with making it. Wow, that's better than any pumpkin pie I've ever had in my life. And I'm from Michigan, but this is incredible, my friend. You have to make this and know that the minerals, the phytonutrients, the phytochemicals and the spinach and everything that's in here is gonna help you break past your cravings. Move forward inspirationally today with motivation to take the next step in your life so that these cravings don't hold you back so that you can become all that you are. I know you wouldn't have attracted this information into your experience if you weren't interested in being everything that you're called to be. All right, so who won the juicer last week? Let's pick somebody. All right, I like that. Stormy Gray, you're the winner last week. You were diagnosed with diabetes 16 years ago. Uh, being a part of this community, I know how hard that is and the way you have to change your life to fix it. So you were able to overcome it. You just got your blood test back you're completely healthy, and now you're inspired to go on and transform other people. We're gonna send you the Organifi, and we're gonna send you a juicer, because once you transform yourself, and your goal is to get out there in the community and change mankind and change humanity at large, that's a whole new purpose. And you're gonna need the right tools to do that. So I'm gonna give you the right tools today with the Organifi Green Juice and the juicer. It's going out to you. Remember, whatever you're craving, you can break through it. Reach out to others, help them, share this video, if you liked the recipe, if you enjoyed any of the comments in here, you learned anything new, or you wanna share it with somebody, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below on FitLife TV for a chance to win the Juicer and the Organifi next week. Remember, we're in this together. I'll see you soon. The truth that you can break away from sugar, fat, and salt. Was that, how was my snap? Was it too forceful? Join me in this experience of a lifetime. Namaste.